Guys, welcome to ROR Cards Part 7. Uh, this video is all about practicing your ROR cards with me. If you have been watching this series, that's fantastic. If you have not watched the previous six parts, I'll give you the links to those parts in the description section below. Today, the first card, here it goes. If you look at this card here, uh, take a minute, pause the video here, think about what these lights are talking about or what these lights are indicating rather. What is the green over the white light signifying here? Uh, why are there two white lights in a row in a vertical line? Uh, what's the red light below and what's the extra white light on the top right hand corner of the card? All right. So when I see this card, I immediately start uh, identifying the ones that are easy bit for me. So the red light below is a side light. So that means I'm seeing the port aspect of the vessel. The green over the white light tells me that it's a trawler. The extra white light on the top right hand corner tells me that it's probably the length of the trawler is 50 meters or more. And uh, the two white lights in a vertical line basically indicate to me that if it's a trawler, then it must be shooting nets. All right, so that's how I signify or rather I simplify the card. So yes, I was right about the aspects of the card. And if you see this vessel, sound one shot blast and alter goes to starboard. Uh, the day signal of this vessel is two cones with FXX together in a vertical line and also flag Zulu or Z. And the fox signal of this vessel is one prolonged and two short blasts. So the flag is for the signal of that it's shooting nets. All right, two cones with apexes together is for all trawlers. The next card is uh, three lights in a vertical line with a green and red. So the green and red lights immediately tell me that I can see both the side lights. That means I must be on a head on course with this vessel. Now, if there are three white lights in a line, uh, this must be a towing vessel. Alright, so if this is a towing vessel, um, then uh, this vessel is underway because the side lights are on. Right, so these are all the things that I'm picking up here. So if this uh, three lights are there, there are two possibilities. Either the tow exceeds 200 meters and the length of the towing vessel is less than 50 meters, or the length of the tow is the length of the tow is 200 meters or less but the towing vessel's length must be 50 meters or more. That's why there are three lights. Otherwise, if the, if the both if the, both the towing vessel was more than 50 meters as well as the tow was exceeding 200 meters, there would be one more light. All right, so let's see if I'm right or not. Uh, I think, yes, I was right. And if you see this vessel head on to you, of course, you will sound one short blast and alter your course to starboard. The day signal for this vessel, if it's the first case, you will display one diamond. If it's the second case, then you will not display any day signal. The fog signal of this vessel is one prolonged and two short blast. The third card for today, and again there's a red, white, and red that tells me this is a vessel restricted in ability to maneuver. I see two green lights in a vertical line first. That tells me it's indicating some kind of a safe side. So it has to be some uh, some kind of a dredger op dredging operation going on. And if you've been watching my previous videos, then you'll pick up on this very quickly. The green light at the bottom. Uh, tells me that this is a side light. So that means I'm seeing the starboard side of this vessel. And uh, the two white lights on the extremities basically tell me that uh, the length of this dredger must be 50 meters or more. And that's why you have that extra masthead light on the top left hand corner. So if I'm right, yes, that's right. And if I see this vessel, I will sound two short blasts and alter my course to port because I could see that uh, it's the port side for me which is the safe side. So those two green lights basically are indicating that uh, that that is the safe side for the dredging operation. All right. Uh, so the day signal for this vessel will be a ball diamond ball to indicate that it's restricted in her ability to maneuver. Also two diamonds in a vertical line will be on the safe side. That is the port side and two balls in a vertical line will be on the obstruction side. Now the obstruction side was not visible from the aspect of this vessel but it was of course the starboard side and the night signal for that will be two red lights in a vertical line. The fog signal for this vessel will be one prolonged blast followed by two short blasts. Uh, then we are on our next card here and again I see a red, white and red. So this is a good uh, take from the last card because the last card I could see only the green side or the safe side of it. Then again this is basically telling me there's a dredging operation going on. So whenever you see these two red lights, two green lights in a vertical line immediately just uh, know that this is a dredger and this is restricted in ability to maneuver and because I see only one masthead light or white light this length of the dredger must be less than 50 meters uh, because in the top or in the bottom uh, lights the green and the red on the extremities 
that tells me it's uh, those are the side lights and if i can see both the side lights and the masthead light then i must be on a head on course with this vessel if i'm on a head on course with this vessel i will not always auto course to starboard but in this case because the safe side as indicated by the two green lights will be on my starboard side i will sound one shot blast and auto course to the starboard the day signal for this vessel will be a ball diamond ball to show that it's restricted in ability to maneuver then two diamonds will be in a vertical line on the safe side and two balls will be in a vertical line on the obstruction side all right and one prolonged and two short blast is the fox signal for this kind of vessel now for the next card take a minute here and see whether you can recognize the card or not all right so what kind of card do you think this is pause the video here start making a note of the lights that you see what does those three white lights tell you in a vertical line what is the red white and red telling you what is the green and the red at the bottom of the card telling you all right so the green and the red at the bottom of the card basically they are telling you that you can see both the side lights when you can see both the side lights that basically means that you are on a head on course with this vessel the red white and red basically tell you that the vessel is restricted in ability to maneuver but what does these three white lights tell you and again whenever you see these three white lights there is always these two options that we understood from the previous cards as well so either the towing vessel is less than 250 meters and the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters or the length of the towing vessel is 50 meters or more and the tow length is 200 meters or less all right so whenever you see these three white lights you will know if you want both the towing vessel to be more than 50 meters as well as the tow exceeding 200 meters you will see additional one light when you see this vessel because you're on head on course sound one shot blast and all your course to starboard this vessel will be showing a day signal of ball diamond ball to indicate that it's restricted in her ability to maneuver and if in the case of a if tow exceeds 200 meters then to indicate that the tow or the length of the tow is exceeding 200 meters it will also display a diamond and finally the fog signal will be one prolonged blast followed by two short blast the last card for today again you can see these three white lights immediately when you see these three white lights that should trigger a thought in your head that this is some kind of a towing operation that's going on all right this time you again see a red white and red which should tell you that it's a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver the green light at the bottom should tell you that you are basically seeing the side light so that means you are seeing the green side light so the starboard aspect of the vessel then there is one extra white light so like i told you before if you want the towing vessel length to be 50 meters or more as well as the tow to exceed 200 meters you will actually see four white lights so this will be in this order here all right so that's why this one let's see if i'm right or not you can see that uh, the power driven vessel is 50 meters or more that's right and the tow is also exceeding 200 meters because of which together total you see four white lights in all all right when you see the starboard aspect of this vessel basically you will sound two short blasts and auto course to port the ball diamond and ball in a vertical line will indicate that it's restricted in ability to maneuver and because the tow length is exceeding 200 meters you will also display a diamond and finally the fog signal for this vessel will also be one prolonged blast followed by two short blasts so i'm uh, keeping this trying to keep this video short and i'm taking a different set of cards every time so that we can practice different cards every time i try to cover i'll try to cover as many cards as i can and keep making videos on this series i hope it's useful to you guys let me know through a like or a comment uh, so that i can get some encouragement to make these videos i'll see you soon with my next video guys all the best with your studies and keep subscribing so that you get notification about my future videos bye